After going through cancer treatments, patients are often in a deconditioned state. Certain symptoms may include shortness of breath, fatigue, or weight gain. One of the most important ways for cancer patients to maintain their well-being is to keep up an active lifestyle. This way, you may be able to combat these symptoms and eventually do more of the things that you enjoy. Additionally, maintaining an active lifestyle would lower your risks of other health problems such as heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes and osteoporosis. It will also help to maintain your weight to prevent obesity and other weight-related cancers. Maintaining an active lifestyle would also help to increase your stamina and energy levels, as well as reduce symptoms of fatigue and shortness of breath. Being active can improve your muscle strength, balance and joint flexibility. Exercise is not only safe and feasible during cancer treatment, it can also improve your quality of life. However, depending on your post-treatment condition, the timing to initiate physical activities has to be consulted with your primary doctor. He will determine the extent of the side effects from your cancer treatment and advise you when to embark on your exercise program you will be referred to a physiotherapist who will work with you to design your exercises. As different patients have different levels of activity, it is important to personalize your exercise program. For patients who led sedentary lifestyles before diagnosis, they should start with low intensity activities like light stretches or range of motion exercises, taking walks during the day and gradually increasing the walk duration. Older individuals with bone metastases, osteoporosis or significant impairments such as arthritis or peripheral neuropathy should pay careful attention to balance and safety to reduce the risk of falls or injuries. For patients who already led active lifestyles before diagnosis, it is important to resume exercises at a lower intensity and for shorter durations. The primary goal is to increase gradually and return to previous physical status. With lifestyle changes and advances in technology, people spend more time sitting each day, thus reducing activity level. To reduce your sitting time, you can Limit the amount of time watching TV or using your electronic devices. Use stairs when possible. Take an exercise break at work to stretch or take a walk. Increase your number of daily steps. It is important to reduce the amount of time spent sitting, regardless of activity level. This is because limiting your sitting time may help to maintain body weight and reduce the risk of certain cancers. Exercise is an important part of maintaining your physical and emotional well-being after diagnosis and therapy. With proper planning and taking actions, you will be able to regain your former active lifestyle.